final day of practice here for the final invitational tour event of the year and I got Mr. Tracy Adams with me. Uh, Tracy, from a lot of the people we've talked to so far, it's been kind of some normal moaning and groaning from a lot of the pros. Uh, so give me your opinion on Norris Lake right now. Yeah, it's better than I thought it'd be really. Uh, I had a pretty good practice day the first day and then yesterday wasn't quite as good and today is off a little bit more, but you know, I didn't go back to some of those key areas. So hopefully, sure. hopefully, you know, maybe I'm on something, maybe not, we'll see. From what you've seen of Norris uh, to this point, is it a lake that can pattern really well? Can you can you get on something and run it all over the lake? It kind of seemed that way to me. Uh, it seemed like you could pattern a little bit. I got a couple little deals going and, and you, it, you can tell there was definitely, especially the first day, there was definitely a pattern to okay. it. Okay. Uh, and yesterday it might've been more a little bit of areas uh, so, you know, I don't know. And today I just rode around a lot looking, right. you know, looking for more stuff. And, and I fished a good bit too, but it definitely didn't seem like it was biting as good today for whatever reason, I don't know. But. Well, it's the, one of the X factors uh, that we'll see in this tournament is going to be small mouse. Uh, the kicker is they got to be 18 inches to weigh them in. Have you played around with finding small mouse at all? I did a little bit this morning. Uh, I went down and got in some clear water and I caught seven or eight and probably two hours and had two 17 and a half inches and a couple 15 inches and then took, of course some little ones and sure. I was like heck with this. <laughs> so I, I went back to, uh, looking for large mouth and I, you know I might accidentally catch some small mouth kind of doing what I'm doing I don't know but sure. you know I don't know if they'll be. You're not primarily targeting them. No no absolutely not. Uh, we talked a little bit before we started rolling how big this lake is and uh, you said you have burned a ton of gas this week practicing. Yeah, I have. I probably burnt more gas in the last three days than I did the last two tour events put together. <laughs> uh, and that's including Lake Champlain, so that tells you something. <laughs> that's you, pretty good. You, you can go forever on this play. I mean, it just, you know, there's creek arms everywhere, and every one of them, you can go 50 miles up it, mm -hmm. you know. So I burned a lot of gas, looked at a lot of water, and hopefully it'll pay off come Thursday and Friday. Was this your first time uh, when you got here for practice, first time on Norris? It was. It was first time. If you had to compare it to another lake you fish, what do you think it's similar to? Oh, wow. I don't know. It kind of reminds you of, uh, I don't know, a little bit of Norman, a little bit of beaver. Okay. Uh, I was going to say, we've heard a lot of the beaver comparison. Yeah, yeah. And maybe just a little bit of Norman, too. It, it kind of, kind of some things sort of seem that way. Oh, so. that'd pan out pretty good for you. Well, I mean, you kind of like Norman. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. But, uh, you know, I don't know. You never know what'll happen. Well, uh, I think with that, Tracy, we're getting kind of low light here. I'm sure you got some stuff to go get rigged up. You got an off day tomorrow, and we'll see how it pans out Thursday for you. Thanks All for right. talking with us. Thank you. Making a long drive up here is Nick LeBrun. You can't man Louisiana. That's a haul. It's about 10 and a half hours. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to assume you've never fished Norris before? Never fished it. All right. Tell me a little bit about uh, if you had to compare Norris to a body of water you fished before, uh, what do you think it sets up like? Well, uh, probably not like anything I've ever seen. Um, uh, fished a few uh, Tennessee River lakes before, mm -hmm. but uh, never one that's this long and really this deep sure. and this clear. Um, you know, where I come from, uh, <laughs> our bath water is that clear and, and that's about it. But, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty different from what I'm used to. All right. Uh, well, I guess in that respect, do you like uh, seeing new bodies of water because there's a lot of a lot of pros that uh, you know they kind of like it when you can run around you don't have any, you're not tied to anything you don't have right. any preconceived notions are you that type of angler yes I would say so um, you know if anything I'm gonna leave here learning a lot and uh, anytime there's a lake this big you know there's a lot of opportunities out there and guys can kind of run around and maybe fish their strengths um, you know there's always gonna be fish biting out there somewhere you mm -hmm. just got to find them uh, well, the interesting thing here, as opposed to what you're used to in a lot of the lakes, uh, you know, you fish down in Texas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, uh, you got small mouse, spotted bass, and large mouse that you can catch in here. That's right. And uh, I mean, realistically, you could weigh in all three of them in a bag and have a good day. Uh, did you try to focus on a particular species this week? Well, I did. Uh, the first two days of practice, I really wanted to figure out the smallmouth, just because uh, what little bit of research I've done, it sure. seems like that's going to be a big player. Um, once I kind of got confident in that, I kind of went back to the green fish. Okay. So uh, I think if you can kind of mix in a little bit of both and uh, do that for three days, you may have a chance. 
Well, it seems like, I know uh, from a lot of the locals uh, that I've talked to, it's kind of, you know, they wish it was cooler, right? That, that gets those big small mouse really going. Um, but they gotta be 18 inches. So to come across, you know, that many fish, especially throughout three days of competition, uh, can be kind of a tough thing. Are you, did you find some small mouse that were grouped up at all that you think you can maybe pluck a couple out of? Absolutely. Um, the few little spots that I found for small mouth, it seemed like if you, if you caught one that was above 14 inches, then they were there. You'd get several bites. Okay. Now, uh, a lot of places you can catch little eight to 12 inch small mouth, but it seems like the bigger ones just aren't there with those. But if you get above that 14 inch range, they seem to be grouped up to me. All right. Uh, in your opinion, does this tournament set up to something where a guy can win it off of a few areas, or are you gonna have to run new water each day, just from what you've seen? Well, uh, I don't know if I'm experienced enough up here to answer that correctly, but um, my strategy is just kind of picking a section of the lake and uh, just kind of living there, committing sure. to it, and uh, just knowing that you're around fish. And I think it's gonna be a timing thing where you're gonna have a couple little feeding windows during the day. It's gonna be real important to make sure you're at the right place in the right time. All right. Well, uh, I mean, a guy like you, you've had a fantastic year so far on the Southwest Division of the Costa Series, uh, especially in the BFL level. You won Angler of the Year for the Cowboy Division. That's right. And heck, you got a couple weeks now, we'll see you at the Costa Series Championship. So you're rolling right along. You got a little momentum on your side and uh, good luck to you this week, Nick. Thank you, sir.